going to show you how I make my chocolate chip pancakes in the waffle maker. So first, I'm going to take a fourth of a cup of water and simply put it in a small bowl and then pour in my pancake mix and mix it up. Oh, by the way, when you do this, don't forget, plug in your dash waffle makers while you're, while you're doing this. They need to heat up. You'll know they're ready to go when the lights turn off. Once they're hot, open them up and spray both the top and the bottom with Pam, and then put half of your mixture in each one. Close the lids, and then you're gonna let these cook for three minutes. After three minutes, simply lift the lids, take your pancakes off, top with a tablespoon or two of your sugar-free dressing, and then you're ready for a great breakfast. Going to make the roasted garlic uh, mashed potatoes in the waffle this morning. So first, you're just you're gonna follow the instructions at the beginning, very similar to what it says. So one packet of the mashed potatoes with a half a cup of water, and mix it up, and then microwave for one minute. I'm also going to plug in uh, my two waffle makers right now. So they'll heat up while my, my, my mashed potatoes go in the microwave for one minute. Okay, they're out of the microwave. You can see they're nice and fluffy. Give those a stir. They're pretty thick now like mashed potato consistency. My dashes are ready to go. So I'm gonna spray the top and bottom of the dash. And half of the mixture is gonna go in one. And the other half of the mixture is gonna go in the other one. And then I'm gonna close the lid and set the timer for five and a half minutes. Okay, five and a half minutes are finished, so I'm simply I'm simply going to unplug my waffle makers and then open them up. I'm gonna use my fork, take those out, And then waffle potatoes are ready. <laughs> you can see James grabbed them for me very quickly. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people use uh, this creamy vanilla shake to make their coffee creamer. So I'm going to follow the directions as far as pouring one cup of water into a blender or blender bottle. So I've got one cup of water in this magic bullet, and I went ahead and used warm water since it's gonna be coffee creamer. I don't wanna get it, um, I don't want my coffee creamer to be co super cold when I poured it into my coffee this morning, but you do however you like your coffee creamer. So I've got one cup of water in here. Going to put on my lid. And blend.
Okay, so this will make a whole cup of creamer then. The thing about this is you're gonna need to, you know, drink this in your coffee. You need to get it down within an hour, you know, for your coffee creamer. So I'm guessing you don't, I wouldn't put the whole thing in my coffee cup. So I'm probably gonna have a couple cups of coffee. So I've got one cup here. I'm gonna, I'm not a, I'm not a creamer drinker but it looks like I put almost half in. Yeah, not quite a half. I just poured in right now. And now it looks like I've got um, a whole lot of cream in this coffee. So it might be better to do it in a bigger cup. Boy, that tastes good though. It is like a really rich vanilla like a, I don't know, I, I guess I've never had a vanilla coffee, but it's good. It's really good. So I can drink a couple cups of this without any problem. I can tell you that. So it's going to be like a dessert coffee. I am a black coffee drinker in the morning, but at night I would definitely make this with some decaf coffee. So this is good. So for my first fueling this morning, I'm going to have a few cups of coffee with this uh, shake creamer in it. Okay, I'm at work here and I'm going to prepare one of my shakes. So I simply fill up a bunch of ice and then I use almost one cup of water into my magic bullet. And then today I'm doing, I think it's the chocolate shake here. And I'm just going to blend it up in my magic bullet at work. And then it's going to be a perfect fast fueling. I probably make one of these at work at least once a day. Today at work, I'm gonna make my version of kind of a grilled cheese. So first, I'm gonna plug in my Dash Mini Waffle Maker, and I only have one of these at work. Then I'm gonna take my biscuit mix and mix it with a fourth of a cup of water, and I'm gonna stir that up really well. And then as soon as my Dash Mini Waffle Maker is heated up, and I know that because the light goes off, I'm going to spray it with Pam and get ready to make this. What you see me using is the Laughing Cow Cheese, and I'm just gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna be making two biscuits, and I'm gonna put half of the cheese on each one of them. So it's been three minutes and it's time to take out my first biscuit. I take it out and I go ahead and start the next one, so the rest of my biscuit. And you'll notice I sprayed it again with Pam before I put the second biscuit on. That's important to do. You can't use enough Pam. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put half of that cheese on my first biscuit and then just cover it up to keep it warm while the other one cooks. Now I've been three minutes for the last one, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up. You'll notice that I'm going ahead and putting my cheese on it here. That's how I do it at home when I have two of them, but on my first one I didn't. It's not gonna hurt anything to do it right on here. And then take it out and grilled cheese kind of biscuits are ready for lunch. I don't care for some of the pasta mixes, so I've taken one of them and I've ground it up in my Magic Bullet and turn it into a powder. And I'm going to use that powder to make some biscuits. So into my powder that I've already made, I'm putting two tablespoons of liquid egg beaters. You need that binding. And then I'm also going to add three tablespoons of water. Now I'm putting this mixture together and stirring it together approximately two hours before I'm actually gonna put these on my waffle maker. So in a couple hours, this mixture is gonna be really thick because it's been setting for a few hours and it'll go on my Dash waffle maker easily. It's been a few hours later and you can see it's super thick. So now I'm gonna divide it in half and put it in my hot uh, waffle maker sprayed generously with Pam. And then I'm going to cook each one for five minutes. 